Welcome back to another day our survival one life challenge. This is Cambo Commando. Welcome back, guys. It's been a while. <laughs> All right, let's just drink some tea for some good luck. All right, all right, all right. We are ready to go. All right, let's do our let's do our daily quest. So oh, that we got the cooking to get um to get some whiskey. We got some hunting to get some rubber parts, or we got to find some strawberries to get some caps. I do need some caps. I do need some caps, but but what I'm thinking. Is that one this gives me the highest experience points so that we can experience you know we can level up faster and two rubber parts are pretty rare from what I think right I think rubber parts are really rare to make or search for so we're gonna do that one and it's it's easy to find some wild boar there we go now boys we as you can see we in twer. We are in twer, boys. So we've uh, traveled all the way from Leningrad all the way down this path. And now we are in twer. And boy, I got to tell you, I really do got to tell you that I brought some, I brought a lot of items. I had to go back and forth, back and forth like, like five times. So let's just check out what is in my inventory right so this is what i have with me right now ready to go and this is in my camp there we go i brought some good amount of clean water some good food i do need to make i do need to make this i do need to make some drying racks hmm you know what i don't need that right now I'll do it when I get some more raw fish or raw meat. There we go. I made sure to bring a lot of tools just in case if I can um, disassemble them. And uh, there we go. 2,000 bone glue just in case if I need it. All right, all right, all right. And... The moment you guys been waiting for what perk I should choose, right? So, uh, most of you guys selected nobody leaves one free rifle attack per turn, but without the guarantee of a strike plus 40%. It got nerfed. It never said that before, but we got to do it. This perk is really rare to get right and uh i don't have a rifle but i do have the musket and one of you guys asked me perhaps a musket count as a rifle so we're gonna confirm that boom we got five available perks i'm gonna choose four and then you're gonna choose the last one how about that all right let's see strong immune system saving on armor costs shotgun expert headhunter a rifle expert. I don't know. Let's do some some durability of my armor because I really do need that. All right, and what next? Transport speed? Nope. Amount of woods? Nope. Shotgun? Nope. Explosive damage? I'm gonna I'm gonna actually make some explosives, so we're gonna do that. There we go. Lasting effects. Marathon runner. Raw diet. Ooh, maybe, maybe. Damage versus animal. Or rifle damage. I'm gonna do some damage versus animal. Because we, we've been fighting some animals. There we go. We got one more. Veteran looter. Saving on weapons cost, weapons durability. Uh, I think this might be a good one. Battle move. Oh, these two are so good. Speed walker, battle movement range but i do need some weapons durability i'm gonna need that all right the last one you guys choose for me fuel costs right let skin headhunter sniper Ooh, or crossbow damage 
I do use a lot of crossbow. All right, go ahead, guys. Choose the one that I should get. All right, now let's see our pets. Are they good? We're good. We are good to go. And uh, we're level 53 right now. We can uh, make the wooden house next level. Ooh, very nice. All right, let's go and continue on <laughs> our quest. Finally, <gasps> we'll do the daily quest a little bit later. All right, let's find out. Wait, oh, ship. Okay, okay, let's do the shipment. Hand over the crate. Hand over the orders and accept the reward. There we go. Storekeeper delivered. All right, now. Svetlana. Searching for truth. The woman raised her sad gray eyes to mine and smiled warmly. Hello. We haven't seen any new faces in a little while, so uh, who are you? Where did you come from? Who am I? A drifter. I came from the north. Really? The woman is astonished. It's a long and dangerous journey. Well, come in, make yourself comfortable. I'm Svetlana, by the way. Svetlana, from Leningrad? Right? You're the person who invented the cure for the epidemic, who was captured by bandits, and who escaped and made it all the way here to Tver on foot. Svetlana frowned. Yes, that's right. But how do you know all this? I was looking for you. I found your recorder in Leningrad. I was also in Novgorod at the Bennett space. All right, but why were you looking for me? I was looking for survivors, people who could tell me the truth about what happened back in 1984. You see, I don't remember anything. I've even forgotten my own name. You don't remember anything? What happened? That's what I'm telling you. I don't know. I woke up in the Kel, not knowing who I was, where I was from, or how I had gotten there. I was surrounded by rotten corpses and ruins. I started searching for answers, for people who could give me some kind of explanation. But no one knows what happened, or why. Svetlana looked at me with genuine sympathy. That's awful! It's a miracle you've made it this far! She smiled kindly. But that's all behind you now. We'll take care of you. We'll give you a room and feed you. And little by little, your memories will come back. I'm sure of it. Svetlana, hi. But here, we all work for the common good and we run a tight ship. Everyone has a job to do, but there's still plenty of work to be done. We could use an extra body to help out. Svetlana, thank you. Thank you for the offer, but I can't stay here with you all. Svetlana was silent. Then she stood and walked to the window. Why not? I have a wife and a daughter. I don't know where they are, but I'm convinced they're alive and waiting for me. I have to find them. Svetlana nodded slowly. My answer hadn't surprised her, but why was she so anxious? I feel sorry for you, Drifter. People like you are the first to die. People who love, who take risks to save others. I thought all the people like you died out back in 84. That the only one left were bandits and people like me. The ones who've stopped caring for altogether. Sorry, Svetlana, but you don't look like somebody who stopped caring. You're trying to save me, after all. Svetlana smiled strangely. What of it? I'm not risking anything. Fine. Darn you! If you want to leave, leave! But if you're going, anyway... She paused to think, choosing her words. Yeah, I'm listening. Svetlana lower her voice as though she's afraid of being overheard. There's one thing you can do. I started it a long time ago, but I never finished it. I couldn't. I gave up halfway. Svetlana makes a wry face. But you can do it! Okay, what's the thing? I need to uncover the truth. The truth about the catastrophe. I don't get it. What else is there to uncover? 
You know everything. The epidemic broke out. Then there was a nuclear war. You read my diary, didn't you? On one of the pages I lost, I wrote down a strange idea. As you don't know how I didn't think of it sooner, but this idea, it keeps me awake at night. I don't follow. Svetlana speaks even more quietly. The epidemic. The epidemic broke out at the same time in different cities at opposite ends of the USSR. No virus in history has ever spread like that. A disease can always be localized. You can set up quarantines, take preventative measures. At least you can try, but not with this disease. I checked it. The virus attacked everyone and everywhere simultaneously. There was no way of stopping it. It sounds crazy, but could someone have deliberately started the epidemic, infecting people in different cities at the same time? Svetlana, this is crazy. Who would want to do that, and what would they get out of it? I don't know. I've been trying to figure that out since I was held prisoner by the Bannons. I tried to find a rational explanation. Then, here, outside Twer. I asked the other refugees. I looked through newspapers, stories of the disease. Svetlana, even if you're right, if the epidemic is man-made, even if it's some kind of conspiracy, how can you ever get to the truth? So many years have passed. It's madness. Svetlana jumps up and looked at me with a strange fury in her eyes. I know that, but it's no more madness than going out into the wasteland to search for your family. Svetlana calms down and lower her voice again. Then again, we do still know something. The first lethal outbreaks were dated to September 2nd and 3rd. Taking the incubation period into account, I think those people were infected around August 17th and 19th. That means August 17th. Hang on. I've seen that date somewhere before. Show Svetlana the telegram of the dead man in Novgorod. Activate they are on August 17 as instructed. What's this? Where did you get it? In Novgorod. From a body. But there's more. I found a spray can labeled they are too. Do you know what that means? No. I don't know, but I think I've heard the name before. From my father when he visited the institute. He spoke to someone on the phone and mentioned this day R. I asked him what it meant, but he just brushed it off with a joke. But I made a point to remember it. Interesting. Who was your father? He was a microbiologist, one of the best in the country. He worked in Moscow at the Institute of Virology. That was the last time I saw him. He died of a heart attack in June of 1984. My mother told me over the phone. I didn't even get the chance to say goodbye. I didn't even go to the funeral. I was on bed rest with tonsillitis. At the Institute of Virology, you say? In Moscow? Since this is my only lead, it looks like I'm going to Moscow. Svetlana held her breath. So you agree to help? Hmm, I'll try, but I won't promise anything. My main priority is finding my wife and daughter. Yeah, let's try that one. I understand, but you have to understand me. I don't have any close relatives left, and no one needs the cure for the disease anymore. What do you have left? Survival? My goal in life is to live just a little bit longer, but I'm already sick of this existence. But we can do one thing. Find the truth. Find out who is responsible for killing millions of people and for turning our country, maybe even the world, into a wasteland and find out why they did it. This is important, isn't it? Not just for me, but for all of us. I know you don't have to do it. All I can do is ask and offer a reward. All right, I'll see what I can do. I'll go and get ready to head out. Will you wait a little longer? Svetlana, this is a bad idea. The wasteland is too dangerous for somebody who isn't prepared. I can't protect you and you'll be leaving the people here without a doctor. It's better if you stay. Are you sure? I'm sure. All right, we met Svetlana, boys! So we got to go to Moscow.
a man-made epidemic. It sounds like the raving of a crazy person. But who said it wasn't possible? We have a few things to go on. They are the telegram, the spray can, Svetlana's father, the Institute of Virology in Moscow. At least I know where to go, and the reward at the end will be worth it. But where should I look for my family? Where? All right, we got to go to Moscow. Is there anything? There's no survivor base around. All right. We got to gear up before we go. So we're going to have to do some um, some quests. That's for sure. All right. Um, let's see my... Do I need to repair any... I need to repair my spear. Did I bring my... Yeah, I brought that already. Okay. Now let's do some quests. Oh, we got... We got the passenger. Good. We can keep him to help us fight. All right. Now, um... Let's do that. Camp defense. Destroy the... And there we go. All right, all right, all right. Follow the footsteps to the ground. Let's attack. That ready to go? All right. We're good. I'll just wait my turn. Claw this bad boy and run back. <laughs> He's coming. Nice. Oh, this is the, uh, oh, that pen. All right. I'm going to shoot that. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. All right. Let's get him. Go here. Get him infected. I'll end my turn. Claw him. All right, let's see what you got here. I want to get rid of this guy first because he's dangerous. Oh, it works. It works for the musket. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, good. Oh, good. All right, let's poke him. I want to... Actually, I want to go a little bit higher. Infect him with that venom. Hmm. Let's do one more. All right. I'm going to have to blind him. Hopefully he doesn't hit me. Oh, I missed. Oh, no. Please don't hurt my friend. Okay, that's okay. Oh, I'm damaged. Oh god, my hand. My poor little hands. Okay. Um poke him. Sh shoot him. Oh, I wanna help this guy too. Okay, let's back away. Claw him, I know, I know. Oh boy. Oh, he's almost dead. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Please don't hurt me. Oh, oh boy. This is dangerous. This is dangerous territories, boys. Okay, birdie boy. You gotta do this for me. You gotta kill him. Oh, thank God. All right, bullet wound, left arm, combat injuries. Oh God. All right, we are literally dying good thing we are close to the camp all right let's go back to get nurse nurse please cure all diseases please restore all my health oh thank god oh actually you know what you know what let's uh decontaminate myself there we go. All right, let's go and attack the animals. All right. Um. Good. 
That was good. That was good. Up here. Good. Very good. All right, let's, uh, you claw him back away. Oh, he's coming. Oh, no. All right. Pokey pokey. All right, I'm going to have to blind him. Oh, I'm wasting my bullets too. I'll wait. Let our passenger waste a little bit more bullets on him. All right, help me out here, buddy. Help me out. There you go. All right. Let's finish him off. There we go. All right, let's see this camp defense and uh, hopefully we can survive this because it seems like it's getting harder and harder to fight these bad boys. All right, let's hang up the logs with stakes. Let's dig a wolf pit. A wolf pit. Get in the position. And now, let's defend our camp, boys. Okay, they're not that bad. I'll end my turn. Um, I don't like these two guys. They're shotguns. But for sure, I need to get rid of these two guys. For sure. Okay, they're dead. I like this guy right here. He throws the nades that just makes them dizzy and they can't fight anymore. All right, this guy needs to get killed. All right. Um, I'll end my turn. Let these guys, you know, take care of her. Take care of it. All right, I'm going to blind you. No, that was the wrong guy. This would be this guy. All right. Oh, good. Oh, this is good. Ah, you missed. I'll end my turn. <laughs> Basically did nothing. All right. I am not helping. I'm literally the kid that is in the group and does nothing and also got an A <laughs> as a group. Okay, good, good. Search it up. That was really easy. Obviously, because uh, I didn't do anything. Alright, let's go inside the big city of Twer. And let's investigate. Ooh, all right. You know what? Just for you guys, let's go to this anthill. <laughs> it was a disgusting sight. The ants had apparently built their home out of anything and everything they could find. Trash, filth, and rotten remains. But even this pile of absolute junk could be hiding something valuable. Let's attack, boys. All right. So if I blow this up, it's probably going to make this you know what let's find out actually you know what let's do this let's do something dumb oh it didn't work okay um let's blind him okay, let's hide oh he's running away Yeah. Oh, he did. Okay. Um. Poke. Poke. Oh God, I'm gonna get killed here. All right, I'm gonna damage him. Block this from these guys. Good. Now push him aside. Okay, I think he's I think he's good. I think he's dead. Yeah. Claw him. There we go. 
what we got here. Ooh, a weapons box. Oh, let's see what you got here for me. Oh man, it's broken SVT. Oh, that sucks. Right, let's pick it up. Let's see what's in here. All right, let's see what's in this box. Nothing. Did we just get... We just got a hacksaw. Nice fine. All right, let's go to this bandit space, boys. Hopefully I survive. Hold on one second. Let me feed my animals. And you, just in case. Let's attack. All right. Oh, they're easy. All right, we are going to be here. I'll end my turn. I'll go here. I'll blind him. All right. Oh, they coming. They are coming. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna run a little bit. Good. Okay, good, good, good. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Um. There we go. Move a little bit over here. There's a plan. Go here. All right, let's see what you got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. come to this side. Come to this side. Oh, I'll end my turn. Claw him. Ah, you missed. Ah, you missed. All right, now it's my turn. I'll poke him. I'm gonna shoot you. Do one more. Oh, you dead. You dead. There we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. There we go. Search it up. Ooh, we got some energizing potions. Nice. All right, let's see where else would you guys be interested in me looking around. I want this one right here. Maybe this, there's some good weapons. All right, let's switch it up to our good flashlight. Oh, I didn't get anything good. Not bad. At least we got a book out of it. All right, let's go here. All these weapons are broken. Oh, I mean, I'm running out of energy. Uh, let's go here. Ooh, I want this. Chemistry set. Yes, we got it. I was lucky. All right, let's head home. Because we're getting tired. We're thirsty. And we got some good loot, too. Very easy. No, we'll skip it. Drop everything. You know what? Since I am going to be here for a while, I might... I should build something here. I should build... I should build a dugout, because I can make a dugout. I. It's probably a waste... I don't know, you know what? I'm gonna do it just for you. Oh, I don't even have the, I don't even have the thing for it. You know what? Let's get it done. All right, let's, um, let's make some more cloth. So how many do I need right now? I need two more. I think I can make it. Let's just make two right now. About five. Done. What else? Scraps. Easy. 
All right, all right, all right. Chopping the woods are done. <laughs> now we can finally make the duck out. Let's do it. Let's make our first duck out. All right. Oh, by the way, guys, got to tell you, I purposely um, make my little camp right here. I'm going to build my duck out right here. The reason why, because it touches like three areas, right? It touches the wood. It touches the road, which I can find dandelions, strawberries, and white man foot, right? So the woods gives me chanterelle, deadly nightshades, nettle, and obviously moss. And the sea gives me water. And these, um, and the reason why I did that, because eventually I want to be able to make detoxifying potion so that I can go to Moscow and not worry about my radiation because you guys told me there's a lot of radiation in Moscow so we gotta get ready boys all right now let's build it so yeah that's just a little tip for you guys if you guys are new make sure when you build a base it hits at least three areas so that when you go in there you can search it without worrying about radiation without worrying about moving around right just a little tip Alrighty then we finally got our dugout so now our oh our rest bonus is at 150 percent food storage at 300 radiation resistance obviously is 100 percent plus added tent so that's that's some good ones okay now just out of curiosity here if i make the hut would that even help out too does that help out maybe i wonder if i can take this and see if they can fix it can you guys fix this for me my chemical suit can be fixed but it's gonna cost me all right i'm gonna definitely save for that that's for sure all right i think that is about it boys and so thank you guys for coming along on this journey of day our survival you love what i do you know what to do and so i'll see you next time